Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this compact cargo carrier from Flint Hill Goods, how it fits on a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. Obviously, with the Pacifica, you do have a good amount of storage in the back of your vehicle, but maybe you're going on a longer road trip or you need a little bit more storage. Maybe you're just transporting some messy items that you'd rather have in the back than making a mess inside your car. So let's check out a little bit about how it works. I'll get a couple measurements as we go, but if there are some measurements that I don't do that you'd want to see, or maybe just some more in-depth details about the carrier, feel free to check out the full review or the product page here at eTrailer. Like I mentioned, we're just going to be talking about how it fits on the Pacifica. So although the carrier itself is only 25 pounds, it still is able to support up to 500 pounds of weight, which is nice, and that's going to be about the highest end of your hitch cargo carriers and what they can support. It's also really compact, so I'll get a quick measurement give you an idea of what it's like to add this onto the back of your vehicle. So from the bumper to the furthest point back, it's only gonna be about 21 inches. So that's, and it does sit pretty close. I'll actually measure that too real quick. That's only gonna be about two inches. So it's compact, doesn't add a ton of space onto your vehicle. It sits a little bit close, but it's not gonna be doing a lot of moving around. So I wouldn't worry about that. As far as ground clearance goes, it does stick pretty much straight out from the shank. So that's gonna be about eight inches, but I'll step in real quick just so you can see what it might look like when you're loading it up. So you can see now that your ground clearance is gonna depend quite a bit on how much you load up in here. The carrier is made of a black powder coat steel, so it's gonna be durable, but it's also gonna last a long time. It's gonna be resistant to the weather, UV rays, rust, corrosion, anything like that because of the black powder coat finish. There are plenty of places to put your straps and your tie downs, including these two spots in the front, as well as the top and bottom rails. Additionally, we can see that there are a couple of reflectors, one on either side. So it is gonna blend in with the darkness a little bit if you're driving with this at night. So it's nice that those reflectors are there to let people behind you know. We also took the time to measure what it was gonna be like if we want to load up our gear and still open the hatch. So from the bottom of the carrier to where that breakover point is going to be is going to be about 14 inches. So that's how high you can load your items before they're going to make contact with the trunk when you open it up. Also, you're going to want to be mindful of when you're stacking those items up. You're going to probably obstruct your license plate a little bit, depending on how tall you get. If you come in below that, you're definitely fine. But your backup camera, you're going to be able to see the stuff that you're loading up. So you might want to spread it out and avoid that. But it's not going to come anywhere near our taillights or our rear window. Also, if you're going to be stacking up your items really tall or it's just all over the place, we definitely recommend strapping them down. You can pick up some straps here at your trailer, or if you'd rather, there are also nets or bags available to keep your gear in a little bit more secure or protect it as well while you're driving. The carrier uses a two inch shank that fits into our two inch receiver tube. It's held in place by this hand threadable anti-rattle bolt that you can secure on the other side with your socket wrench, as well as a clip just to keep everything in place. Also, while we're down here, we usually like to point out the fact that with your carrier, if you do have some heat sensitive items, maybe like plastic or canvas, and they can potentially be damaged while the exhaust, then you're gonna wanna consider where that is. So on the Pacifica, it is close to the basket, but it's pointed down, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue in our case. Here we are on our test course. As we hit the alternating bumps, you can see what it would be like to hit a pothole on the road. Our solid speed bumps simulate pulling in and out of a driveway or hitting a speed bump in a parking lot. We use the slalom portion of our course to simulate the side to side movement, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Overall, if you're finding that you need just a little bit more storage or maybe you're making those trips to the hardware store to pick up some messy items pretty frequently and you want something that's lightweight and easy to store if you don't want to use it, the compact cargo carrier from Flint Hill Goods is definitely a great option. This is just a look at that compact cargo carrier from Flint Hill Goods and how it fits on a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica.